Hello, and welcome to Nat Time Videos. My name is Philip, and today you will be learning about the auditory transduction pathway. Alright, well, let's get started. The ear is divided into three areas the outer, middle, and inner ear. The visible portion of the ear consists primarily of cartilage covered by skin, forming a sort of funnel called the pinna. The pinna catches sound waves and passes them along deeper into the ear. The sound waves travel down the auditory canal into the middle ear. The sound waves in the auditory canal hit the tympanic membrane, or eardrum, and cause the tympanic membrane to vibrate. Inside the middle ear, there are three bones called the malleus, incus, and stapes, also known as the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. These are collectively referred to as the ossicles. The tympanic membrane is connected directly to the malleus, which is connected to the incus, which is connected to the stapes. The stapes is also connected to another membrane called the oval window. When the tympanic membrane vibrates, it causes the ossicles to move, which pushes and pulls against the oval window. The pushing and pulling of the oval window generates pressure waves in the inner ear and causes fluid in the inner ear to move. The inner ear consists of a structure called the cochlea. The cochlea has a spiral shape resembling a snail shell. Inside the cochlea is the basilar membrane. Pressure waves generated in the cochlea cause the basilar membrane to vibrate back and forth. Certain sections of the basilar membrane vibrate to certain frequencies of sound, where vibrations at the base of the basilar membrane are due to high frequency sounds, and vibrations at the end of the basilar membrane, or the apex, are due to low frequency sounds. On top of the basilar membrane is a structure called the organ of corti. The organ of corti contains hair cells, which are auditory receptors. Hair cells convert mechanical energy into a change in membrane polarization. When the basilar membrane vibrates, it causes the organ of corti to move up and down. The hair cells embedded in the organ of corti contain stereocilia, which are hair-like structures protruding from the cells. As the organ of corti moves up and down, the stereocilia collide with another membrane called the tectorial membrane. This causes the stereocilia to bend, and this mechanical energy produced by the bending opens ion channels on the stereocilia and depolarizes the hair cells, creating electrical signals slash action potentials. The electrical signals go from the hair cells up the auditory nerve to the auditory cortex in the brain, where sound is perceived.